Hello guys, my name is Mathur and welcome to my channel. This is the fourth tutorial in the series of tutorials on shell programming. Now in this tutorial we're going to check out a few more important commands. The first command that we're going to check out is touch. Now touch is used to create empty text files. What I mean by that is if I type in touch at the terminal and uh, provide file names like uh, test1, test2, test3 and press enter I have three test files in my present working directory. My present working directory is the home folder. So if I open up the home folder for you guys, then you can see three files over here. And if I check out the properties of any one of these files, I can see that the size occupied by test one on my disk is zero bytes. And the location is home folder. And its type is plain text document. So that's what touch does for you. It creates empty text files. Now, what is the significance of um, creating empty text files? I mean, you know, these files do not hold any text, so you must be wondering that, okay, you know, why should we create them? Uh, what purpose will they serve? Now, these are empty files, but it's not that you cannot cre put text in them, you know, at all. If suppose you want to put some text in these files, then you can do it. You know, this is a test file, and if I save it, and if I close it and if I then check out the properties then you can see that it's no longer empty it has uh, some text in it and it now occupies 20 by 21 bytes of space so there you go that's a test for you and uh, you know we, we will learn uh, when we get to our discussion on cat how to put text in uh, files through the terminal but uh, for the time being that's all I want to do uh, speak about touch now the next command that we're going to check out is mkdir. Now mkdir is a command that you use to create directories. Uh, what is a directory? If I right click in uh, my home folder or in any folder within my home folder and uh, click on create folder, then the system asks me to provide a name to this uh, folder and I can type in anything. Let's say I want to call this folder random. If I type in random and press enter, then I have a folder that's called random in my home folder. Now this is nothing but a directory. A folder is the same as a directory. If I want to do the same thing through the terminal, then I'll have to obviously use a command. And the command, as I said, is mkdir. I put a space and I have to give a name to my folder if I want to create it in my present working directory. And if I not want to create it in my present working directory, then I have to give its uh, address, right? and uh, by the address I mean the path. Uh, we learn what that means but at first let me just create one. Uh, I'll call this folder test and if I press enter I can see that in my home folder I have a folder called test and this folder is currently empty because uh, I haven't put anything in it yet. Now what if I want to create a folder in the documents folder in my home folder. I can first change my directory uh, from the home folder to the documents folder and then execute mkdir but that would just be a waste of time and I also haven't taught you how to change the directory through the terminal so instead uh, what we can do is we can execute this command mkdir documents slash because we want to put it inside the documents folder and then we can give a name to our folder like uh, test underscore folder and press enter and now you guys can see that in my home folder in the documents folder I have a test folder uh, well ignore these two folders bad Santa in particular so uh, that was it that was all I want to do rant about mkdir the last command that we're going to discuss in this tutorial is CD. CD stands for change directory. Now my present working directory is the home folder but what if I want to switch to the music folder within the home folder. The command for that would be CD space music. If I press enter I see that my dollar prompt becomes slightly different and it tells me that now my home folder is uh, sorry my present working directory is slash music and um, those of you who cannot read that well you can execute pwd to be sure and uh, there you go my present working directory is the music folder within the home folder 
so that's it uh, these three commands are extremely important and uh, I would suggest you to practice them with the uh, random names and uh, in the next tutorial we're gonna check out cat which is again a very important command it's used to create text files not empty ones but files with text and um, yeah so I'll see you guys in the next tutorial and please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching